Hey guys, what's up? It's Pete here from Space Cam. I just wanted to show you what I've been working on today. It's basically like a, uh, uh, it's a, what is it? It's like a, it's like you, you'll take, you take a picture, right, from processing, and then what you do is you split that up into lots of different pixels, and then using the 3D part of, of processing, you just bringing those forwards and backwards slowly, you know, and it's, it is like a bit of an oscillating motion. Um, I've just, yeah, I've basically been working my way through Dan, Dan Schiffman's um, work, which has just been like <laughs> a lot of fun, lots of different creative things to get up to there. Um, in fact, the, uh, what this idea is based off is kind of the um, Dan's example, which I think is on everyone's processing uh, folders, or at least it was for mine when I just downloaded it. Um, yeah, I guess I put I put the source code up for it. It's um it's not it's not too it's not too tricky. I mean, the only thing is like you know mapping each each pixel to something that you're able to bring forward and backwards. But but yeah, that's not too it's not too hard. Um, the 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 interesting thing I found when I was making it was actually that. Uh, to get a really like interesting shape going on was to actually in the in the wave function. I'll just quickly show you. You basically really want to have um something a bit more funky going on. So for example, I've got where is it? Here we go. So it says uh, this is basically where it, how for each pixel how far back it wants to go, and it's saying d there is the distance from the center of the screen. And T is, you know, just time, so just it'll move. So basically, the higher D is, the further away it is, the the more that number is going to fluctuate over time. Um, so that's actually what's going to happen is you're going to have further, more oscillation further away from the center and more stable around the center. Um, and that's that's basically how how that one works. And yeah, it, it kind of just comes up with all kinds of like really weird shapes and you know you don't really know what to expect well, I'll, just, I'll run it again from the beginning like that that's what I found really interesting was just starting it off and then just like like you know you have no idea what's going to happen next I haven't really I haven't like fully like tuned it much you know it's kind of like you just chuck it in you see what's going on but I feel like this is quite a fun sort of area, like 3D pixel art, you know, I don't know, turning pixels into voxels type thing. Um, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of potential. I'll, I'll, anyway, I'll put a link to, uh, to Dan's example and to, and to the source code for this one anyway, if you guys want to check it out. Cool.